Hey everyone, in this video what we're going to do is figure out what the limit is as x approaches 0 of tangent squared of x minus x squared all divided by x squared multiplied by tangent squared of x. Now let's begin by rewriting the numerator in the following form. The limit is x approaches 0 of tangent of x plus x multiplied by tangent of x minus x divided by x squared times tangent squared of x. All we did in the numerator is use the following formula, a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. Now what we're actually going to do is rewrite our limit as the product of two limits. So we're going to have the limit as x approaches 0 of tangent of x plus x divided by x multiplied by the limit as x goes to 0 of tangent of x minus x divided by x times tangent squared of x. Now, if we look at the limit on the left hand side, we can rewrite this as the limit as x approaches 0 of tangent of x divided by x plus 1. Now, if we were to let x go to 0, this part here just be equal to 1, so we would be left with 1 plus 1, which is equal to 2. Now, for the second limit, what we're going to have to do is apply El Hopital's rule to it to try and solve it. El Hopital's rule basically says that if you have a limit as x approaches some value c of a function f of x divided by another function g of x, then this limit is equal to the limit as x approaches c of the derivative of f of x divided by the derivative of g of x given that f and g are both differentiable at c and that the limit is of indeterminate form 0 over 0 or plus or minus infinity over plus or minus infinity and you can apply this rule indefinitely as long as the criteria that I've just mentioned is satisfied so looking at this limit here if we let x tend to 0 we're going to have tangent of 0 minus 0 which is of course equal to 0 and we're going to have 0 multiplied by tangent of 0 squared which is of course equal to 0, so our limits of indeterminate form 0 over 0. So we can apply El Hopital's rule to it to try and solve it. Doing so we have the limit is x goes to 0 of secant squared of x minus 1 divided by tangent squared of x plus 2x times tangent of x times secant squared of x. Now we can rewrite this as the limit is x goes to 0 of tangent squared of x divided by tangent squared of x plus 2x times tangent of x times secant squared of x and we can cancel a factor of tangent of x and we're just left with the limit is x goes to 0 of tangent of x divided by tangent of x plus 2x times secant squared of x. Now if we were to let x go to 0 in the numerator we would just have 0 and in the denominator, we'd also just have 0. So we're going to have to apply a Hopital rule again to try and evaluate this limit. Doing so, we have the limit is x goes to 0 of secant squared of x divided by secant squared of x plus 2 times secant squared of x plus 2x multiplied by 2 times secant squared of x times tangent of x. Now, if we were to let x go to 0, this would just go to 1, as would this, and this would just go to 2, and this would just go to 0. So we would be left with 1 over 1 plus 2, which is equal to 1 over 3. So remember, the value of our first limit was 2, and now we've just found out what the value of our second limit is, 1 over 3. So that means the final answer to this problem is 2 over 3. I'll just write it up here. For complete clarity. So this here is equal to 2 and this here is equal to 1 over 3. So the product of these two limits is 2 over 3 and that is the final answer to this problem. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this content useful. If you did, could you please make sure to like and subscribe as it really does help the channel out. I hope you have a great day.